Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Sherry, and I have the most exciting collaboration going on today. I'm collaborating with my friend Saria over at Dream It DIY, and we're putting together a princess-themed mixed media art piece. And I am so very excited to finally release this video with Saria. Saria, thank you for being so patient with me while I've been so sick. Today, I'm gonna be walking you through a full DIY of a mixed media art piece, as is Saria. So be sure to go and check out her channel after you watch this video. Also, I have to give her a shout out. Saria is incredible. She's super duper creative, very, very talented at DIY projects, and she just opened her own Etsy shop. So I'm gonna link her channel as well as her Etsy shop down below. Go show her some love. She's amazing. Um, so last year I created a mixed media art piece for the movie Soul. And this is what that art piece looked like. It was one of my favorite things that I did last year um, in my craft room which is right over there. And so this is what it looks like. Basically mixed media is anything that your heart desires, putting it on canvas, paper, etc. So in this particular case, I used a canvas and I used several different uh, techniques. We've appliqued um, some paper on there. So we've got some paper. We used a stencil, actually carved a rubber stamp and stamped Joe Gardner on there. Plus I used a different painting techniques like using uh, bubble wrap to put some texture and different fun things into this piece. So this was the piece that I did last year. Several of you had asked me to do a <laughs> tutorial of it but I just did this for fun and I didn't think anyone would want a tutorial so we're gonna be doing a different type of mixed media piece today for Rapunzel and I decided to do a lot more painting techniques because there were a lot of painting techniques that I think are really fun and also really achievable for lots of people to use and do and so that's what I chose to do for this piece so why don't we go ahead and get into it here is how I created created this really fun Rapunzel art piece. I've had the idea for this piece for quite some time and so I want to show you what I do with my mixed media pieces. I typically take a graphic design program online that's free called Pick Monkey, and I use that to create what I want my art piece to look like. So here's a little bit of an example. So ideally, this is what I want the piece to look like. It's kind of just an homage to the movie. We've got Rapunzel's braid with all the beautiful flowers from when she, she went to the city, and then also the flower gleam and glow, let your power shine lyrics. Kind of in the background, I decided to change the coloration of the canvas, which I'll show you in a moment. What I'm doing right now is doing reverse weeding. So I printed the flower gleam and glow lyrics out on my Cricut on a piece of vinyl. And I'm taking out the lettering so I can use this sticky vinyl as a stencil so I can paint those lyrics onto the canvas. Since I didn't refer to her dress in any way, I thought the background should be this like pink, lovely color that matches Rapunzel's dress. I used a multi-surface acrylic paint, very simple craft paint, nothing too special, and I used an eight by eight canvas. Now here I've actually transferred the vinyl over to the canvas. So as you can see, we've got a really beautiful stencil ready to go and ready for us to paint over it so we can get these lyrics on to the canvas itself. Like all DIY projects, I had to pivot a little bit. I did use a white paint for the Gleam lyric and it just was not bold enough. It looked like it kind of like got washed out in the background of the canvas. So here I am painting it gold and then also adding some glitter paint over the top of the gold to really reinforce that it is gleaming. And I think it turned out really well. Also, I did have to do a little bit of touch up because the stencil wasn't perfect. So you'll also see me here doing some correction around some of the larger uh, letters because I wanted to make them look pretty sharp. Uh, looking back, I think I would suggest not using a canvas that is a stretch canvas. I would suggest using a hard canvas, but I was just trying to use what I already had in my craft room. So I just had to adapt and overcome at this point. <laughs> the next step in this process is to create Rapunzel's braid. And I've seen so many amazing tutorials on paint pouring. And I thought today was the day 
to paint poor Rapunzel's braid. It was very stressful because I was very worried I was gonna ruin the painting. So what you do, you take acrylic paint, you add water to it, and then you put it in this little dust pan or whatever you have. You could totally use a cup or a plate or something along those lines to also pour. I just felt like I had a little bit of a better control with this small dust pan. And I also would suggest thinning out your paint even more than I did because I did have some cracks that ended up happening once the paint dried. Now, when you do this, you're also gonna want at least 24 hours for this paint to dry because it takes a while. Um, and so what I did was I took a dark yellow on the edges and then a light yellow in the center uh, to try to create some depth for the braid. So let's get pouring. Oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Ruin this painting. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Who decided this? <laughs> I will save you from the rest of the profanities. It was fine. I was just so nervous about ruining this painting because I was like, I couldn't imagine like trying to start over, but everything ended up just fine. I continued to pour the braids. I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit so you can see the rest of it. And then I also took this little paintbrush and I tried to define some braid lines in this and it just really wasn't working very well. So I kind of scrapped that idea mid DIY. It's really the last step of this whole artwork. And what we're gonna be doing next is one of my favorite newest techniques. It's taking paint medium, which this is what I'm using. It is the modeling paste. I call it paint medium. You can get it in the paint section. This is what it looks like. It is very thick and it looks just like frosting. And so what we are going to do is actually use frosting tips. I got this little kit from Walmart. It was pretty inexpensive. I think it was around $7. And it has multiple different tips and I'm going to frost on their little flowers. And what's so cool about this paint medium is that you can add acrylic paint to it to color it. And that way you don't have to paint over your paint medium once it's dried. It's just on there like cake frosting. It's such a fun and different technique. I've done this one other time before. It will be really interesting to see how this turns out. Fingers crossed that it goes well. <laughs> and why don't we go ahead and get started. Let's put these flowers on this canvas. It's time to make some paint medium now. So I'm using the paint medium and I am going to be adding some acrylic paint to it. Now, something to keep in mind is that when you add the paint to it, it is going to dilute it down and make it thinner, which will cause it to lose the shape of the items that you are putting, like piping onto your painting. So depending on what you're doing, you may want to just pipe on the paint medium by itself in its like gray form and then paint over it after it dries. So there's two different techniques that you can do. I really wanted the flowers to be fully um, actually the color that I wanted them. So that's why I chose to go this route. Um, some of them were a little bit more runny than I was expecting. So just be prepared for that. And then all I did was place this medium that I mixed up into a piping bag with a frosting piping tip and then I started piping flowers onto my canvas. I continued this with different types of piping tips as well as different colors of paint medium until I got the finished product that I was looking for. Okay, so here is the finished piece. 
So we'll do a little bit of close up. We have flower, gleam and glow, let your power shine. The lyrics of Rapunzel's song. We've got some poured paint. And then I added lots of little details to the little flowers themselves, including glitter and small details in the center of the flowers. I would love to know what do you think of this piece? What would you do differently? Or if you were to create a piece inspired by a princess, what would it be? I had so, so, so much fun hanging out with you guys today and doing some more DIYs. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know down below if you'd like to see more DIY videos. I had an absolute blast. Thank you again to Saria. Be sure to go and check out her video. Her links are going to be in the description box down below. And guys, that's going to do it for me. I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN. Bye.